Hi, I'm Simon of Bridikin, and today what I'm going to do is showing you a day in the life for us on Bridikin under lockdown here in Grenada. Morning. It's 6:30 in the morning. Um, just woke up. Um, we had a bit of a wet night last night, so it was opening, closing, opening, closing windows. So Kim's still asleep. Sienna's still asleep. Just opened up, get a bit of fresh air in. Well, Sienna's just woke up. How are you feeling, sweetie? I'm fine. What are you having for breakfast? Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops. It's the last of the Fruit Loops, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. We're just waiting for mummy to wake up and I'm gonna make a coffee. The highlight of the morning is uh, the radio net, <laughs> other than coffee. But uh, so I'm gonna, it's on. 6-8 here in uh, Grenada all the time that's what a hailing channel is for the cruisers but uh, we're going to change to channel 66 because they've got a repeater we can broadcast everywhere and they can even hear in Karaku which is about 30 miles away so that's pretty good. A reminder to use your dinghy lights at night and turn on your anchor lights. She said put your dinghy lights at night but we're not allowed out at night bless her you missed that one. Weather, we have the and now she's going through the weather. So what they're talking about now is they're talking about bingo. Uh, a lot of people are doing some bingo and they're raising money for a local charity that gives food to the people that are just desperate and can't really afford it. So that's a good thing that the cruisers are doing at the moment. I've been waiting for my coffee for half an hour. And Kim is finally awake. Mm. Would you like a coffee? Mm -hmm. You would? Okay. I'm making mine and mummy's uh, coffee in the morning. Mm. It smells lovely. It's local coffee from Grenada. Beautiful. We've got our tent up. I'm taking the bimini down and the spray hood. We're going to get it repaired when we can. It rained really heavy and it's not that dry. I know it's a lockdown and a curfew, but we're really lucky because the owners of the yard and the hotel here at Lafar Blue have said that we can walk the dock. So that gives us exercise. This clusters our yard because you're allowed to walk in your yard. We're not allowed to go off property. You're hungry, aren't you? Don't know the backstory was that I'm here. It's a restaurant, but since it's the coronavirus, the restaurant's closed down, and now the people that work at the restaurant aren't feeding the cat anymore. And people that work at the restaurant wouldn't give them, um, the, they would give the cat food, but the cat are just little scraps of food. But the cat doesn't get um, get it anymore because because the um, restaurant's closed, of course. So we come here every day and feed her. Hello world. While Sina's doing the washing up, I'm gonna be doing some bacon, tomato, beans, and some eggs for breakfast. Yum yum. Just tidying up before we start our day, getting everything organized. Why are you doing the dishes? Because it helps the family. <laughs> and because we told you to do it? Yeah. <laughs> and because you didn't do it very well last night. Hey! <laughs> I did a Job. Okay, I'll see. I'll see what I can do, David. They're already getting the orders ready now, and I'll see if I can. When I go up at eleven, I'll, I'll see if I can get yours before three o'clock. Over. Take care. Uh, Brilliant. Can going back six eight. Kind of. It's kind of funny that we're we're the go between for people getting food. Yeah. Are you guys starting without me? Well, you oh. were down there on Facebook. Ah. Mm. Oh, <laughs> there was a room. Mm. But we've run out of bread. So yeah. The bread's coming this afternoon. Yeah, at least we know it's coming. Yeah. And it's uh, it's actually kind of cloudy out today. The sun is shining, but we're getting a little bit of drizzle. But it's hot and beautiful. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Good. If we get bread for lunch, mm -hmm. we'll just have like two just sandwiches. Sounds good. I've got help Sina with the homeschooling a bit, but 11 o'clock I've got to go up to meet and meet and help them with the uh, 
free deliveries. Mm -hmm. I want to work on the website <laughs> without spitting. I've got such a big job to do. Yeah. It's just so boring. But now's a good time to get it done. Mm -mm -mm. Hi. Does anyone know if the secret harbor fuel dock is 9 to 12? The first person that's at it. Oh, is it? Thank you. Appreciate that. Right now, I'm going to tell you what my schedule is for the day. So my schedule is going to be, I'm going to have breakfast with my mom and dad, and then we're going to, I think then we're going to do schooling. Then after schooling, daddy's going to go to meet me and help them out. And then I'm going to be playing with my friends on Roblox. Um, and it's fun because we can talk to each other. And, and then I'm probably going to do, make a quiz for my parents and draw and write. So yeah, it's going to be a fun day. Daddy's yeah. arm wants to say something. Why don't we all go Hello around? Hello everybody! I sure. wanted to say hi! Been here just over five weeks now. Um, we're on 24 hour curfew. Bit of a pain. It's not, we're not seeing as many people as we would like, normally like to. But on the plus side for us, we've been able to get some boat jobs done that we wouldn't normally get done. Um, I've just about finished the teak deck. I'm doing a bit of polishing. Kim's getting on with her, her stuff. Um, hopefully that this will soon get better and we can get back to a more normal life, which we were really looking forward to. Hey Mom, what's your feelings about the coronavirus going on and lockdown and stuff? Um, well, it's been, it's been five weeks since Simon Says, and um, I actually feel like it's gone kind of quickly. It's real difficult seeing so many people out there having uh, such a difficult time. There's nothing I can really complain about. We actually have it so good here. I mean, we can't move around much and stuff, but um, we just take each day as it comes. And, uh, you know, little things make us happy now, like finding a lemon or getting vegetables or seeing somebody walk by. <laughs> On occasion, somebody will have to come here and and so it's nice you get like a little five minute conversation with another person and that feels nice it feels human but um i can't complain all i can say is that it just seems like it's gone kind of quick because every day has molded into the same thing <laughs> you get up you have your coffee i work on the computer all day simon and sienna do homeschooling we take our trash to the uh, dumpster and that's our walk for the day um, but there's beautiful flowers and the beach around us and there's so much beauty to look at so I just focus on that and um, I've been thinking a lot about you know what's gonna happen when this is over and I'm excited about just getting the world back started again and us all moving on it's a bit annoying sometimes but sometimes it's actually pretty cool I man it's, it's okay but I wish I would have kids because it's pretty annoying because my friend is over there on the other side of the bay and which he could just dig you right over here and we can play but we can't so yeah and but it's pretty cool because we've got the pool to all ourselves we we have some fun stuff going on like like kid trivia we do that on the radio it's funny okay we're all ready this is my third question what um city does batman call home I wish I was taking a nap, but I'm not. What happened was a couple of days ago, I went under to clean the bottom of the hole. And because the water's so stagnant in here, I was in a cloud of stuff and I've got a bit of a earache, but it's on the outside of the ear. So um, we put in some warm water, some baking soda in and it gurgles and it's got a lot better in the last two days. So I'm Nurse Kim. Nurse Kim. I, I was just about to say that. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do, you want a little bit of water? A little bit of water. Because the last two days we've done a mixture, but mm. Simon thinks maybe if we do a little water first and then the baking soda. Okay, Ooh. there's the water. <laughs> oh, I can hear it gurgling. Okay, it is full up. Okay, okay. It, it's really full up. Oh. Oh wow, oh. that tickles. <laughs> Get a close up to the inside of it. Do you guys hear that? That is bubbling. Jack Frost is a madman and um, says Kirsten with a high uh, expecting look. What is not? Or oh, what is? Okay. I can't help you, it's a test. Oh, now I can't help you. Okay, this is me going into 
Mary and Jill's Meat and Meat, which is a fantastic local store. And they supply all food to locals and boaties. Now the boaters are in the next couple of bays, all anchor. They're not allowed to leave the boat except for a certain couple of days. This is us supplying food for pickup. When our friends come to the dock to pick up food, we steal a few minutes with them just to have a conversation. Thank you so bye much. Bye. Take care. That's not that bad. Last time was worse. We have cut down. Well, we have cut down. <laughs> this is Alex and Tom from Alchemy. They also have a lovely son, James, who's good friends with Sienna. If you slow down our Britic and Fast opener we have, you'll see Sienna at the age of five and James at the age of four. We met these guys in Grand Canaria and crossed the Atlantic at the same time. Have fun, see you later. Bye. We're just going to our last one, last boat in. And, uh, uh, back in the freezer. Uh, it's taken us about four hours to uh, get all the food to the boats out there that can't get off, so good job. So we're taking our walk now. Um, it's not a big walk, <laughs> but at least we can walk. So we take the trash out and we just kind of do this little circle. Yeah. And uh, that's it. But it is beautiful. Lovely. So many flowers in bloom right now, it's just beautiful, spectacular. Lots so, of birds and insects around, yeah. the birds seem to be a bit more freer since we, yeah. you know, there's not so much human interaction. Yeah, I'm just coming around, you can see that they've got this closed off here. The fire blue, close to the public, meat and meat are open, but you uh, can't go in, you got to kind of call them and place an order. That's what Simon's been helping out with. But they just landscape this um, resort so beautifully. Yeah, there's just a hummingbird just there. Yeah, oh, there's hundreds and hundreds of hummingbirds here. And um, we've got a little pond over there. And this is where you kind of check in. But everywhere you look is just flowers and it's just so well done. Is it a mine? No, the next one's a mine. Oh, what is that? That's what they used to make the um, sugar, sugar cane in. Oh, okay. So like it's a pot. Yeah, and they used to put a fire yeah. underneath it. There's a mine here. And that's an old mine. Yeah. That's and here's cool. a local dog, Hero. Hi, Hero. <laughs> Hello, Hero. What are you doing? Okay, and then we are up to the right. You can see your tent there. We're right across from the red light ship. So, this is, this is Alex. Yeah. How long have you been here since we've been on the lockdown, Truly. So three weeks he's been here. And what's happened is it, they put him up in the hotel because he's empty. I go on the dock every day do some work and relax sometimes. It's all is good. Good, good. good. Yeah. See you later, Alex. See you later. I've been working on the computer like all day. Um, I'm doing this course on Instagram. I really, you know, don't have a clue with half the stuff I do. I put up this video and, I mean, it just feels like I don't know if it was right to do or not, if it's, I don't know. So uh, anyway, my eyes are falling out of my head. Sienna's in the front room playing um, roadblocks with some friends that are up in Edmonton, Canada. And uh, I got real lazy, so for lunch we are going to have me and Sienna's favorite. <laughs> We're having uh, chicken ramen. We stocked up on these before uh, the lockdown happened, so we got like three cases of it. <laughs> I just finished like a video that's gonna be live next Tuesday, but I put it up for our patrons first. I was gonna do something on um, like routines, like scheduling routines and stuff, but I just wanted to do a video where I was looking at the water and, and looking at sailing. And uh, so it was really nice to spend two days editing sailing footage. Sienna, keep it down! Sorry, I'm playing with my friends. But it was nice to just, you know, look at video of us sailing. Um, it's, you know, it's been, gosh, six weeks, I think, since we last sailed. Everybody here is getting eager to maybe go out and go sailing. But you know what? I think Grenada's done really well. We've uh, been on 
on lockdown for a while now and it appears there's no new cases. So if we get to open back up, maybe not the borders, but just the country, um, it'll make a massive difference for the, the local people, the economy. Um, it'll be nice and maybe we'll be able to sail around Grenada. We'll, have to, we'll, we'll find out, we'll see how this plays out. But uh, yeah, my eyes are gonna fall out, so we're gonna have some noodles. <laughs> I've come back after uh, finishing with meat and meat and Kim's still in the same position mm -hmm. and so is our daughter over there um, talking to her friends. Well I've finished so hopefully people have got the foods and they can last now and however long it's going to be. So fingers crossed it's all going to change on Monday and we'll get released a little bit but we'll see. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. Yeah, one. What did you do? Alright, circus skills. Stand on one leg and Touch your nose for oh, the next turn. <laughs> <laughs> Am I? Mm, Mom, you look good. Oh, man. Right. You lose your next turn. Slide to the right! To the right! To the left! To the right! Huh? You picked up three. Yeah, I said three. Mm. So you get rid of three. Daddy? Mm-hmm. I missed my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> How could you do that? Everyone in the group gets to take one, go picking an emoji card, and return the one without having to pick up any action cards. Okay. More washing up. Feels like I'm chained to it. <laughs> <laughs> and I got out some Italian sausage, and we got a baguette from Meat and Meat. The highlight of the day, eating. Yes. The fact that we can get bread is lovely. So we're going to have some sausages. If we were stuck on our boat, I'd be doing my yoga on the aft deck. But it's in the hot sun. We're so fortunate to be able to use the light ship next to us. Almost every day around 3ish, I go over and use an app from my phone called Down Dog for 30 minutes. I'm so grateful to have this space. Sienna does her homeschooling, I work from here and do my yoga, and often as the sun goes down, Simon and I go to the very top and celebrate another day. Oh, hello, I'm having a shower. So while mommy and daddy are, mommy's t doing her yoga, I do some yoga with mommy and I do some, and I do some showering. Not with daddy, but in different stalls with daddy, but um, yeah, and but when they're doing stuff sometimes, I like to do some gymnastics. Let me show you some of mine. Okay, here you go. Look how high I am. Probably can't see me, so I'm gonna get a higher point of view. shower um, feels great um, it's kind of funny because when you don't see anybody <laughs> you get a little lazy I think just boat life makes you shake it down here out of the wind um, boat life just kind of makes you a bit lazy and because you're usually jumping off the back of the boat all the time you don't shower as much because you're in the sea and then you just rinse off with with um, with fresh water but uh, because we haven't seen anybody and we've been a bit lethargic, we we'll probably take a shower every three days. <laughs> uh, we all start to smell and then realize we need to take a shower, which is kind of gross, but um, I don't know. It doesn't bother me so much anymore. But my shower was wonderful. I did my yoga, took a shower. I feel so much better now. And uh, it was been, it's been a good day. Simon is... Getting the grill ready, yeah? Yep. So we're having sausages? We are. And... We go. It's quite quiet as usual. We're lighting up the whole place. As Dawa calls it, the Christmas lights. Yes, we've got the Christmas lights on. 
Just for you, Dower. It's a British barbecue, so we have to have beer. It's illegal not to have a beer while barbecuing mm, in Britain. Of course. Cheers. Daphne right now. Play more blocks with her. I don't hear Daphne. Daphne, say something. Hi. We got the sausages. We got a couple kinds of mustard. We got the fresh bread. Oh, we got us. Yes. <laughs> All right, I'm excited. Me too. I'm hungry. Me too. It's sausage time on sausage time. Mm -hmm. So what are we doing now? We're going to watch Netflix, but I was just seeing they're trying to do a, a trivia. Wait, bye-bye to the camera. Bye. Well, I'm on the, I'm on the light ship, but I uh, hope you enjoyed that. It's not as bad as some people have got it on boats that are stuck out on anchor out there, but we're still going a little stir-crazy. Poor Tiena has not, hasn't had any friends. But, you know, a lot of people have got it a lot worse and uh, fingers crossed everything's all right with uh, everybody out there. Well, if you enjoyed that and you think you'd like to come out sailing with us, when the, when the flights start, please uh, get in contact with us and try and come out with us. We have actually had uh, four people during the coronavirus that have contacted us and wanted to come out. So it's going to be first come, first served. So hopefully we'll see you soon on Brilliant. Take care and be safe.